Welcome to another episode in the Yuan Explained series. My name is Yuan Stensland, and today we're going to take a look at a really advanced piece of music. Uh, it's the intro to Spirit of the Radio by Rush. Let's do it. I was invincible, immortal, a guitar hero, a musical genius. I was 16. I also had no job, no education whatsoever, musical or otherwise, no money, and a pretty poor conception of life and my place in it. I came from a broken home, and I was surrounded by drugs, which I fortunately said no to, and struggling musicians. But as a 16-year-old, I had the privilege to see the world in black and white, good and bad. At this age, I had many friends who told me I had this special musical gift. And because I had really nothing else, I choose to embrace that. And around this time, back in 1980, Rush released Permanent Waves. Oh, how we loved that. The intro to that first track, Spirit of the Radio, it dropped me like, like a ton of bricks. And I guess many of us felt that way. And none of us could play that guitar pattern in the intro. Although I think I was the one who came closest, but honestly, hmm, it was not that good. And all those bass and drum accents, forget it. None of us could grasp what that really was about. Because despite being fed with Genesis and Seconds Out, this intro by Rush, it was so advanced and complex that it really challenged me. And I touched upon this before, but it seems to me that the pieces of music that you carry with you in your heart, in your life, it also kind of contributes to shaping the person that you are. And for that to happen for me, I need to be challenged, like both musically and intellectually. Uh, and I need to be touched. I need to be moved. I need to be excited, uh, maybe even surprised. I need to be like floored, flattened. Impressed is probably the wrong word, but just like uh, knocked down or out by something that is just larger than anything you knew before. I think that is pretty much it. And the intro to Spirit of the Radio it has all those components because it really floored us, like all of us. We loved it so much, but we didn't understand it. But in this episode, I'll show you exactly how to play it. I'll show you exactly where all those weird accents are, believe it or not. So let's start with my playthrough and we can discuss it after that. There is a bunch of Rush tribute bands, and most of them shy away from Spirit of the Radio. And there are like three good reasons for that. And the first one is that I haven't seen any transcription of what is actually going on in that intro. It's extremely hard to map out exactly where those accents fall. Uh, and hear every note that they're playing. And then there's another thing. Uh, they introduce a bar of 5-4 in the middle, uh, which also makes Alex Lifeson like to restart his guitar pattern, which I find interesting. Uh, if you listen closely, you can hear that. But all that contributes to like when you think you're getting it, you're lost again. And I think that's 
much because of that uh, extra beat the five four bar so that's that it's, it's hard to 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 get it uh, the second is that you have to be really proficient at your instrument bass or drums to play that uh, and i gotta admit i cheated a little bit because i can edit um, if you're going to play that live, you can't really edit it. You have to be able to play it. Uh, and the bass lines are ridiculously fast. So, so that's the second reason. And the third reason is that, okay, you have to be proficient at your instrument, bass or drums, but you also have to lock the bass and the drums. You have to lock like that. If you start to drift either one of you, it's going to be a mess because it's it's so ridiculously fast and all those accents have to be exact. So those three reasons, uh, I haven't really seen uh, a cover band take on that intro and, and do it justice. It's really hard. So you might wonder how I did it. I'm a really tenacious guy. Uh, if I put my mind to something, I want to see it through i want to close the deal it's just the way i am so i set out with this idea to map out these accents because i wanted to understand it and what i did is i looked at old videos of rush and visually trying to look at what Kenny lee uh, was doing on the base but that didn't help much really listen and listen and listen but since there is no metronome it's really hard to map all those accents out so what i ended up doing is i listened to the song in youtube and slowed down the speed to half speed and i listened to it over and over and over again until i was sure that i got all the accents right so I cheated a little bit by doing that So I, because I slowed it down. And then I was able to hear clearly all the accents and also what notes Jenny Lee is playing. And then I could map it out and eventually learn how to play it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to explain this. I can't just talk about it. I, I, I want to show it to you the best possible way. So I'm going to do the same thing for you guys, but make it easier. I'm going to introduce a metronome so you can hear exactly where the beats and bars are. So that's one. And then I'm going to show you on a MIDI keyboard, a visual virtual keyboard on the screen, exactly what notes the bass are playing. So you see that in real time at half speed and also all the drum hits. I'm going to show you on a piano roll exactly where the drum accents fall. So you can study it at that speed and pause whenever you like it to just, ah, that's where those accents fall. So I'm going to do it for you at half speed with the visual aid so you can understand it and map them out so you can play it. Uh, it's still hard, well, at least it is for me, but uh, I, at least I, I'm, I'm trying to give you the best possible uh, roadmap to be able to understand and play it. So, here we go. Well, there you have it, the intro to Spirit of the Radio by Rush. I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, or if you like my content, please 
hit that like and subscribe and, and ring that bell and all the bells and whistles down on YouTube. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching.